our application is going to get one more activity larger. We're going to add the activity my first button activity and we're going to start the activity by clicking a button handled in our main activity. In previous tutorials we covered using a menu item to launch an about activity. There we had a listener for a menu item. In a similar way there is a listener for a button action. The first thing we'll have to do is to create the activity. I've already done that because we've done that in a previous tutorial but I'll just point out where, where it is. So here is our package. Here is the my first button activity. What else do you need to do when you create an activity? Well you have to state it in the Android manifest. So here is our statement in the Android manifest and you can also create an activity layout. So here's the my first button activity layout. If we go back to the Android manifest for our brand new activity, my first button activity, I've already created a intent filter. net.clientuser.droid101 action my first button. And as recommended, I've also added that entry to the strings file. Here is the custom intent which we'll be using to launch our new activity. Let's create the button. To create the button, you need to open up your main activity layout file. And let's switch straight to the design view. We can grab the button widget and drag that across into our app layout. If you go back to the text view, the XML, you'll see that a button has been created here. And this is the button that we'll be clicking. But to handle a click, we need to identify this button uniquely. So I'm going to change the ID here to button underscore my first button underscore m. M1 for method one. I'm covering the first way that you can handle buttons. And as part of the first method of handling a button, you need to add just one more thing to the button XML. And that's to define which method is launched when you click the button. The method that's handling this is called send message. That's all you need to do in the XML. And let's organize the handler in the main activity. Opening the main activity class, let's scroll right down to the bottom. Now, yes, we have the onCreate methods, we have the onPause methods, and we're going to add this method at the same level. We're not going to put this inside any other methods. I've decided to introduce some cutting and pasting to speed things up. I don't think you want to watch me type all day. So I think transfer of knowledge wise, this is going to be more efficient. So here's this method. It's void. It doesn't re return anything. Android Studio is now helpfully telling us it doesn't recognize what this view is. And it's also recommending that we hit Alt and Enter to automatically import the classes needed for it. So let's do that. Alt and Enter. And just to quickly show you, here's the freshly imported class. So let's imagine we've clicked our button. We've told it which method to run, the send message method, but now we need to fill this method with something useful to handle our button. Well, you may have more than one button in your design. You can use a switch to differentiate between the different buttons in your app activity. What we've done here, we're taking the view and we're using the method getID to return the ID of the button. We only have one button at the moment, so we only need one case to look out for. So what we're saying is that if the incoming button has the ID button my first button underscore m1 do something, I want to launch our new activity. And I'm doing this with an implicit intent. So I'm creating an intent and I'm retrieving the custom action my first button intent string and I'm just starting the activity in exactly the same way we covered this in the intent tutorials. And that's all you need to do to activate your button. Let's run the app. Here's our application and here's this button we created labeled new button. And if we click it, our new my first button activity opens. It has nothing in it because we've not filled it. We'll cover a second method of handling a button click next time. <laughs>